Harry slammed over claims paragons of inspiration, got a slap on the wrist for his charity support. Prince Harry reiterated his support of veterans in both the UK and the US sending warm words to walking with the wounded charity and the Warrior Games. As a former member of the military himself, Prince Harry has recently sent his support to a team of six veterans who are ready to embark on a 400 kilometers expedition for charity. In 2017, the monarch visited the Manchester-based hub and training facilities of walking with the wounded. The same charity initiated the 400 kilometers hike to raise awareness on both physical and mental struggles after service. The main aim of the organization is to help veterans make the transition into civilian life. According to one of the team members, the Duke of Sussex said, these men and women know what service is. They've seen and overcome adversity and they won't let obstacles get in their way. They are paragons of inspiration for communities everywhere. We wish them good luck and good weather. The six-man team of serving and ex-service personnel, each with mental or physical wounds, will start their journey on October 10 at the Omani Embassy in London. The expedition was supposed to happen abroad during the Grenadier Walk of Oman but will now take place in the UK after being postponed twice due to the pandemic. I'm taking part in the Walk of Oman because I want to get that buzz of a challenge feeling again, said Brian O'Neill to Gazette News. I want to demonstrate courage, resilience and determination with fellow veterans who speak the same language and be part of a team again. Mr O'Neill is a veteran based in Colchester who served for 26 years and was deployed in Bosnia, Iraq, and Afghanistan. He left the military with PTSD due to exposure to multiple traumas and now works as a technical sales manager. From the other side of the Atlantic, Prince Harry has also recently supported another initiative dedicated to American wounded veterans this time. On Monday, the Duke of Sussex and First Lady Jill Biden paired up for a virtual event honoring wounded service members who would have taken part in this year's Warrior Games, which was slated to be held this week in Orlando, Florida, but was canceled because of COVID-related concerns. Prince Harry praised the U.S. military veteran athletes who competed in the annual Warrior Games, telling them that their recoveries can inspire their fellow service members. The Duke of Sussex, whose 37th birthday is tomorrow, was speaking at a virtual event to honor Warrior Games athletes, where he was joined by U.S. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and Ken Fisher, CEO of Fisher House Foundation. Both Harry and Dr. Biden, who have struck up a friendship over the years, had been scheduled to attend this year's Warrior Games, an annual sporting event that celebrates the resiliency and dedication of wounded, ill, and injured active duty and veteran U.S. military service members. Prince Harry continued, the Invictus Games never would have been created had I not been inspired by every single one of you, and your companions and families, for everything that you give to the service of your country. Addressing the online audience, Prince Harry thanked them for their inspiration. To see every single one of you here with the pride on your faces makes me incredibly happy to know how far you guys have come, the dark places that you've been to, and where you are now. Thank you for showing us the way.